A strong response from black activists tonight, days after the Secretary of State called for state troopers to stand guard at polling locations and for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to investigate election complaints. Critics say it could intimidate voters, especially African Americans and older voters. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens joins us live from Fulton County. Latasha, there is also the price to consider in all of this. That's right, Jeff. Good evening, Jennifer. We're live at one of the busier polling locations in Sandy Springs, a place where extra security could be likely if changes are made. Raffensperger says he wants the voting process to be safe and secure for everyone, but some activists argue it already is. Good morning. Earlier this week, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger held a press conference regarding election security and laid out ways he says could improve the process. I fully support the proposal to fund two election investigator positions at GBI and to allow GBI to independently investigate election complaints. Raffensperger also called for positioning state troopers at 2,000 polling locations around Georgia. I am calling on the General Assembly the governor and the state election board to authorize Georgia State Patrol to provide security for voters, poll workers, and credentialed poll watchers at every voting location. The secretary says this is in response to a rise in threats against poll workers and to ensure state laws are followed and poll workers have access. We have to really have a hard conversation about this misinformation that's driving policy decisions. Attorney Gerald Griggs with the NAACP says it simply doesn't make sense. There is no issue with voting. I think he said that on numerous occasions. I believe the governor said that on numerous occasions. By putting troops or extra law enforcement in front of polling sites is going to have a chilling effect on legal voters. Tyrone Dennis, a former APD officer and detective of nearly 20 years, agrees. Crime is up in every metropolitan city, including Atlanta, and I think that the, those resources could be reallocated toward that more so than voting. Dennis says it's the boots on the ground that receive the most backlash when decisions like this are made. I think that it it plays into the propaganda uh, phase of that the election process is not secure. As for the cost of this, GBI says it would take just under $300,000 for two additional investigators. GSP has not given us an estimate for the cost for troopers. We reached out to Raffensperger's office for a response to these concerns. We'll let you know when we hear back.